Luke, I didn't know you went out. Ah, I was in there studying for a test. I thought I would surprise him with a rocky road banana split. It's his favorite. Paul always loved rocky road. You miss him, don't you? I miss the way things might have been. Well, is there any chance for the two of you? No. Do you still uh, blame him for the, um, for the for the miscarriage? No, no, it's not that. I, I, I'm just making some big changes in my life. I need to move forward, not back. Well, I get that, and I, I do. But, you know, it's really hard finding someone to love. I guess that's why I'm so happy that I have Noah. Have I told you how happy I am for you? Well, thank you. But but look at my mom and dad, for instance. You know, things were really tough for them. And now my dad's accused of this murder that we all know he didn't commit. And my mom is sticking by him. All I'm saying is that life is hard. Why make it harder by choosing to be alone? I am not choosing to be alone. I'm just turning a corner in my life. First, I need to untangle myself from Craig, personally and professionally. And I need to take stock. I, I need to figure out what I really want to do. I know I can't be with Paul. We just can't give each other what we need. But you still love him, don't you? It's complicated. L uh, look, right now, I know I need to be here for my family, especially for Holden. You know, that's what I really love about this family. We all stick together. No one ever had that. I think that's why he likes living here so much. You two are getting closer, aren't you? Well, not as close as we'd like. Grandma's rules, separate bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that a problem? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's good, you know, taking things slow. Well, it can be more exciting that way. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Though when I were invited to this party about a lake house. But then we heard that it was going to be pretty wild, so we decided not to go. The first time Noah and I are together, I wanted, I don't know, I wanted to be special. Well, it sounds like you made the right choice. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, you know... If you do want a relationship to last, you can't brush it. You have to make sure that he's the one. Oh, I'm pretty sure he is. We just... We fit together. You know, like... I like him. He likes me. Emotionally, intellectually. I just feel like we, uh... We really balance each other out. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you mean. You know, when you are with the right person, your strengths and weaknesses balance out. With Paul, it felt more like we hit each other's weaknesses. Well, I know you'll figure out what you want, Aunt Meg. You deserve to be happy. <laughs> you sure I can't entice you with a uh, delicious <laughs> banana split? Uh, no, thanks. I think I'll pass. <laughs> uh, I guess you just have to wait until Mr. Wright comes along. <sighs> yeah, thanks. I know I'm making the right choice, so I'll just see where it takes me. Oh. I hope it takes you somewhere good. Yeah, me too. Because one of these days, I won't be as happy as you are. You will. 